Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the War Train here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys my newest game and pickups. I can't wait to show you guys some of the newest games that I picked up, uh, but before we get into it, if you're new to the channel and you're not already subscribed, think about subscribing, guys, and if you enjoy this video, you know what to do, please give it a thumbs up. But with that out of the way, guys, let's check out these games. So the first thing I wanna show you is the one thing that I did pick up from the thrift store. Now, I didn't get a bunch of stuff from the thrift store this time, um, just because the prices have been just ridiculous. Um, the the a woman in charge has just raised the prices on the games, and it's just not worth it. Um, you know, unless it's a, a half-off sale or something, or when they realize that the games aren't selling and eventually drop the price, because I did stop there, and there's like more games there than I've ever seen at once, and that's the reason why. Uh, but I did wind up picking up a, you know, um, strategy guide for the game L.A. Noir. Um, this is a really cool game. I do not own it for like Xbox or whatever. I do own it on the Nintendo Switch. So it's definitely something that I definitely wanted to have. Um, especially, you know, for under five bucks um, to have a strategy guide for this game is really, really cool because this game is based off decisions that you make and in this guide it could actually help you know <laughs> make your way to, to some of the right choices um, because I'm not the best at reading people in this game to be totally honest um, so that was my thrift store one pickup <laughs> um, so to get into other stuff that I got from other places um, first off I did pick up a 3DS title love adding games to the 3DS and this is Wipeout Create and Crash um, you know, I want to say I've seen this game on the Wii and things like that. Um, I've never played it. Um, it is a complete copy, so that's pretty cool. And I got this for like three bucks, I want to say. So definitely happy to add that to the collection for sure. All right, so this is a game for the Nintendo Wii, and I just can't believe that I didn't own this game up until now and you probably wouldn't believe it either. And that is Mario Kart on the Wii. Um, I have never owned this game. So it is so good to finally add the last console Mario Kart game to my collection. Um, this is a complete copy and this is an absolutely minty copy at that. So I am really glad that I had found this. I actually got this from my local GameStop and just by chance I found out they had it just by talking about the game and they were like oh you you don't have that they're like here I got a copy and I seen it and it was mint so I had to pick it up this game has absolutely skyrocketed in value um, it really wasn't cheap <laughs> to be honest um, I did pay retail for it um, you know but I paid regular GameStop retail and not you know getting this off of eBay which I imagine is just insanely priced at this point um, because of everything going on you know with the game prices at the moment are just through the roof so happy to add Mario Kart Wii finally to my collection and the next game I picked up um, because you know recently I have been just gaming like crazy to be totally honest with you um, that's why I haven't been making a ton of content lately um, just you know with the heat that I'm dealing with at work you know just working in such ex extreme heat doing physical labor by the time I get home I am totally wiped out um, so it, it's like I just you know jump on whatever gaming console and just relax um, till I pretty much pass out. So I winded up picking up uh, Mass Effect, the Legendary Edition, the trilogy that just came out, and I played straight through all three games. Absolutely love the Mass Effect franchise. I had never played through a whole Mass Effect game before, and once I started playing the first one, I was completely hooked. Um, I, if you haven't played these games, I highly recommend them. This is why the game has gotten you know, such high praises through the years. I totally see it now. Um, this, these games um, are amazing. Absolutely amazing writing and just awesome gameplay. Just definitely worth your time. 
um, you know, and that took up a lot of my time to be totally honest. But after playing through the whole Mass Effect trilogy, I had to pick up Mass Effect Andromeda. Um, I did pick this up on the Xbox One just because I got the Legendary Edition on the Xbox One as well. Um, so I winded up, you know, starting this game afterwards. I haven't played through this one yet, um, but I have, you know, started it and I'm probably about a good six hours, maybe more deep into this game. And, you know, so far I'm not having any issues with it. I think it's absolutely fine. I know there was a lot of uh, bugs and stuff when the game first shipped and that's why it got um, you know just totally shit on and hated by the community uh, but now it's been years since it's been out tons of patches later um, the game seems to run okay so um, I'm having no problems with it and can't wait to actually play through the whole you know Mass Effect the Andromeda story um, like I said highly highly recommend this franchise and I want to just, you know, share another game that I, I recently played through, and that is Near Replicant. I bought the PS4 version, played it on my PS5. Um, I'm on my second playthrough of this game because this game is all about beating over and over, and you, you know, see more content that you can't see on your first playthrough. Another game I highly recommend this Near Replicant, um, you know, version 1.2247 blah 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 whatever um, absolutely excellent game um, another one I highly highly recommend all right so back to the pickups um, the next uh, bunch of games I did get for the Nintendo switch so the next one here is Shaun of the Sheep Farmageddon um, you know this is I don't know if this is like a GameStop exclusive I don't think so um, but this game is was already worth more than I paid for it, so that's why I picked it up. Unfortunately, I did get this GameStop new, so it's, you know, not a new game at this point. Obviously, it's open. I hate that they do that, but um, I couldn't find this game anywhere else anymore. Um, so definitely one, um, you know, I don't think it's too common. So maybe that's why the price is already over what it retailed for. So, Shaun of the Sheep, Farmageddon, haven't tried it. Uh, if you did, let me know if it's any good. Uh, the next one is a game I had seen a bunch of times, um, almost picked up a, a ton of times, uh, but th this time I picked it up because I haven't really seen it too much lately. Um, I did get a pre-owned copy and it was just dirt cheap. And that is, um, I don't know how to pronounce the first name, so I'll just call this Wild Hearts. This game has an absolutely unique art style, and that's what kind of drawn, drawn me to it before, because um, I did see gameplay of this, and it looked definitely interesting. Um, it looks like it has a lot of arcade-style gameplay, and that's stuff that I do like. So it did come with some kind of sticker that, that was falling out of the box, so uh, that's pretty cool that it had something, um, but yeah. So Wild Hearts, uh, another one for the Switch. The next one, I had to get this. I actually had it pre-ordered and my son loves this game. He has been playing this like crazy. He hasn't beat it yet, but I'm sure he's pretty close at this point. And that is Miitopia for the Nintendo Switch. This is a game that I do have on the 3DS, but honestly, I had never played it. Um, it did, does have a demo. I actually did wind up uh, downloading the demo before this game came out. Um, you know, gave it a shot, and it wasn't bad, you know. A, a real easy, kind of kid-style RPG. Um, great for a kid to get into to, to learn how to play an RPG. Um, to get a, a, you know, a first taste of one, for sure. So, the cool thing about this game is the, the me creator in it is absolutely amazing. Um, it's unlike the 3DS version, they added so much more to it. So, people have made characters that look amazing. Um, there's people that have made characters that are like, look like Legend of Zelda, um, you know, characters. Uh, Mario, Waluigi, <laughs> uh, Peach, whoever, I mean, all these different char char uh, characters, Sonic, um, you know, people from Family Guy, I mean, you name it, uh, people have made all these different just crazy characters. 
Um, and you can use other people's characters, which is the coolest thing. So you could actually have your whole cast of characters be from one franchise. It could be all Legend of Zelda characters. You can even uh, pick the face for the villain, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I recommend this game just because of that, especially if you have kids. Um, you know, definitely a unique uh, playthrough, especially on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, the next game is one that I, you know, I don't know how good at it I'll be. Uh, I'll probably just play other people's games they make, and that is the Game Builder Garage that just came out on Nintendo Switch. Um, this is a pretty cheap game, guys. Uh, brand new sealed copy goes for $29.99, and already people are making some pretty unique stuff. Um, you know, people are, are doing uh, Nintendogs in, in this uh, Game Builder. Um, Doom stuff, uh, you know, Grand Theft Auto, Mario, Sonic, I mean, just all kinds of different stuff already. It teaches you how to make games, um, but it simplifies it in a Nintendo kind of way. So definitely a unique game, kind of like Dreams on the PS4, but Nintendo's version of something similar to that. Uh, but, uh, you know, a very very nicely priced game at $30. I think it's definitely worth checking out if you're into stuff like this. And the next one is a, you know, remake or remaster anyway, an HD remaster of a PS2 era game. And that is Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne 3. Um, yeah, I had to pick this one up. Um, these Atlas games definitely you know, great to add to your collection, the, especially a Shin Megami Tensei game. The value of these games go through the roof. Um, you know, definitely one that I needed in my collection for sure. Um, you know, if you're not familiar with this franchise, a lot of people know Persona, which Persona is actually a spin, spin off from this franchise. So definitely one to look out for if you want to add it to your collection. And the next one is one I had pre-ordered because the gameplay was right up my alley. This was a game that I had to get um, because it basically mimics the style from Donkey Kong Country 2 on the Super Nintendo, and that is Kaze and the Wild Masks. Um, this game looks like a ton of fun. This is a 2D platformer, um, you know, basically drawn from the, you know, Donkey Kong Country style. Um, you know, some of the boards look like they're almost ripped right out of Donkey Kong Country. Uh, but instead of having the animals, you have the wild masks. And you use these wild masks to, you know, swim underwater or, you know, basically like fly or whatever. Um, definitely awesome style of gameplay, you know, that I kind of miss, honestly. Um, hopefully we get a new Donkey Kong Country game soon. I know there's rumors of Donkey Kong Country, um, or at least a Donkey Kong game coming out soon. So, um, you know, hopefully we get that. But until then, this is definitely the next best thing. And this is one that my good buddy Steve Craig from Steve Craig Retro Games picked up. Um, and, you know... He was letting me know about this. He got it at Best Buy. And um, he also let me know about the uh, Shaun of the Sheep game as well. But this one here, um, he got it Best Buy. And, you know, the price of this game was already well over what it was retailing for. Um, this and another one, but I wasn't able to get the other one. Um, but I was able to get the last copy in my whole area of Later Alligator. Um, you know, this is like... I want to say like a visual novel style game, um, you know, basically with these alligators and, you know, you kind of read through it. It's like a text based adventure, um, you know, so you're basically watching the story unfold, um, you know, making some decisions and stuff. So there's not like some real true gameplay here um, from the looks of it. It seems like pretty much a, you know, st uh, story driven text-based game um, you know with some excellent excellent artwork but well, definitely one I wanted to add to my collection for sure before this thing was gone and uh, one I got from limited run games um, I had ordered this uh, <laughs> quite a while back just like any limited run game and that is mighty gunvolt burst 
Um, you know, I do have the other M Mighty Gunvolt uh, game that came out on Nintendo Switch, um, you know, when it first launched. So I was like, you know what? I might as well get this one too. Um, you know, this draws from the, uh, you know, older style of, of 2D Mega Man uh, kind of gameplay. So definitely wanted to add this to my collection. Um, so this is put out by Inti Creates and Limited Run. Um, really, really awesome pickup there. And the next one is one I was really excited for, and that's because this game got its first release since the, uh, you know, Game Boy, I guess it was the Game Boy Color, um, and that is Shantae. Um, I had ordered this at the same time as Mighty Gunvolt. Um, this is the original Shantae game on the Game Boy Color um, on the Nintendo Switch. So I thought this was really, really cool. Um, actually, the uh, developer that worked on this was MVG, the Modern Vintage Gamer. Um, it's awesome that he, you know, helped work on this game, and he basically helped port this over to Switch. Um, you know, just awesome to, you know, help, uh, you know, um, just help out in the community buying games from people like that. It's absolutely awesome that he worked on it. Um, happy to support him and you know just it's Shantae I mean a game that hasn't been released in a long time so yeah this was a definite definite pickup for me and the next one here is a game I had had in a recent pickup video so if you remember I had picked up this um, Doom 64 for the PlayStation 4 now this was the, the classic edition um, and when I got this, I was actually wanted the Nintendo Switch version, uh, but it was sold out on Limited Run site, so I just got the PS4 version because I definitely wanted to have this in my collection, uh, being a big Doom fan. So I was a little bummed out that I wasn't able to get the Switch version, but then I seen that Best Buy was doing pre-orders, so I had to double dip and I got the classic edition of Doom 64 on the Nintendo Switch, which is absolutely awesome. So as you can see, um, this Switch version is a little smaller. Um, originally, I tried to put this one in a box uh, protector and it wouldn't fit. So as you can see, I got my Switch copy in a plastic box protector. Uh, but yeah, really, really glad to add the Switch one to my collection, guys. So these next two games I got are for the PlayStation 5 and you know this one had just released a couple days ago and that is Final Fantasy 7 uh, Remake Integrate. Now I could have just you know upgraded my PS4 version for free um, you know but I still would have had to buy the uh, the you know DLC that they basically put in this version of the game so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and buy a PS5 copy of this. Um, I absolutely love this game. Um, I had a blast with it. It's cool that they added new content to it and did a bunch of work, you know, up in the resolution and tweaking the lighting and, and stuff and, uh, you know, fixing some of the textures in the game that were having a problem loading in so definitely a game that i wanted to have in my collection for sure so i had to go out and buy another copy of final fantasy 7 remake and the next one is a game i've been waiting for since it was first announced and that is ratchet and clank rift apart um this game just came out on friday and i had basically beat it within a, within a day and a half um, yeah, I pretty much played this game almost straight through. Um, I had a blast playing it. The game looks absolutely amazing. Um, you know, this is pretty much truly the first PS5 exclusive and you know, it really does look good. Uh, I did play this game in performance mode with ray tracing. So you get the best of both worlds, um, you know, it doesn't rock, uh, run at a lock 60 frames per second, but also doesn't run at a lock 4K either. So it's somewhere in between both and it looks great anyway and it, it runs smooth. So yeah, definitely a great way to play the game and I can't recommend this enough. If you have a PS5, definitely pick this game up. And the last game I got to show you guys is... 
another copy of Shantae, the original one. Now this is the actual, you know, Game Boy Color version. Um, when I seen they, they were, you know, actually making a re-release on the Game Boy Color, I had to get this and the Switch version. Um, you know, just to have this in a Game Boy Color box, absolutely awesome. Now, as you can see, I do have this in a box protector. I ran out of the ones uh, for, for Game Boy and, and Game Boy Advance this size. So for now, I just threw it in one of these N64 boxes just to protect it um, because, you know, this cardboard and the plastic can easily get destroyed. Um, but I wanted to keep this thing minty. I do not plan on opening this, even though it is very, very tempting. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad that I did pre-order this when I did, um, because I am glad to have this in my collection, man. Absolutely awesome to finally have pretty much a game on the Game Boy Color that was out of my price range um, to have, you know, <laughs> a legit licensed copy. Um, so yeah, MVG like i said worked on you know the ports of these games it's really really cool that he did that um so yeah really happy to help support um you know him and his his uh new uh developing uh career i guess so uh but that's the video guys i hope you enjoyed my pickups um definitely let me know what you liked out of this stuff um but thanks for watching guys i'm the war train and i'm out till next time